here comes Colton Herta. What does he have? It looks big. Sato to the top, but for how long? Not for very long. Colton Herta, a 142 fall. Wow. It is all over for Scott Dixon. Let's show you what happened at the end of Q1, Group 1 for Dixon. We're good, we're good. No, you're not good. That yeah. thing sounds sick. Rossi on the monster lap right here, up again. I believe, well, now he just lost a little bit of time through he there. Lost a lot of time. Yeah. A lot of well, time. Well, he's still good. He's up six tenths. There it goes. 42 4. Alexander Rossi and Colton Herta in the 42s. Nice run. P2 for Graham Ray Hall. Here comes Herta. Here comes Rossi. Herta the top, 42 6. Here comes Rossi now. How close, or will he leapfrog him? Oh, Alexander the Rossi. There. Oh. P2. So Herta still fastest. One more lap to go. Will this be the lap? This is just to advance as Marco Andretti comes to Canada corner. Marco just right on the bubble. He's seven hundredths off. Now one-tenth to the clear. He might bump Sato. Three, two, one. Time is up. Laps count. Nope. Come on, Marco. Hang on here. Heavy on the limiter for a long way there. Just makes it. Sato gets bumped. <laughs> New Garden <laughs> is eighth. And Newgarden looks to be quicker than Andretti so far, but there's several corners to go. Joseph Newgarden, championship leader, up by two tenths of a second at the moment. But that'll change. Three tenths now, getting even better. And Sato's still going quicker. Hinchcliffe's going quicker. Bourdais still out there. A lot left to play here with time expired. One corner to go. Is Sebastian crosses Bourdais. the line. Bourdais jumps inside to fifth. So Marco Andretti gets relegated. Here's he will not Newgarden. be in the Firestone Far Six. Joseph Newgarden goes all the way to third. Here's Hinchcliffe. Going to be close, really close. Can Hinchcliffe make it? No, he goes eighth. So Herder, Rossi, Newgarden and Power, both the Penske's go from the outside looking in midway through to making it to the Firestone Far Six. But nobody's quicker than the 19-year-old rookie Colton Herder. Herder ahead, but narrowly eight hundredths of a second. A little bit of time lost. It's now down and now back up to a tenth. It just keeps seesawing back and forth by hundredths of a second. Colton was quick through this section on the last lap, but where he lost it a bit was in the carousel. He started fourth when he won. Now Will Circuit of the Americas earlier this year. Now Will Powers in the conversation, and Rossi's going quicker still on this lap, but Colton Hurt is the one showing a nice chunk, two tenths up. Two tenths up. All he's got now as he gets through Canada corner, the kink is flat easy. He's got to get two more corners to go. If he just holds pace, he should be able to clear Rossi. Here comes Rossi. Rossi's clawing that back now. Wow, Colton Herter. He's given Harding Steinbrenner its first victory. Could oh, he give yes. it their first pole position? Great break zone from Colton Herter in Canada corner. One corner to go for Colton. He's up by a quarter of a second. Check this out. Colton oh, no. Herter, the dust flies. Herter comes across okay, the line well. and goes to the top. That Gator's hungry. Here, Here comes, comes Rossi. Rossi. Rossi is right there, just a tenth behind. A thousandth of a second. Does he have enough? No. P2. P2. P2 for Alexander Rossi. Colton Herter has done it. Mike Harding there, George Steinbrenner the fourth, Brian Barnhart, that best is, career start, that, first pole position. Nice job, baby, nice job. That is a huge achievement for that young team, backing up the sensational performance that they had at Austin this year. Colton Herter has become the youngest pole winner in NTT IndyCar Series history or any form of IndyCar racing. You got it done on one lap in the beginning. Was that the key to have fresher tires to be able to take two laps for the Firestone Fast Six? I think so. You know, and it, it seemed like uh, from, from the black running that it, it took two laps for the used tires to get up to temp. So that was the thinking in doing two laps instead of the other guys, I think, did one and two or one and one. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm so proud of the guys. They did such a good job on the on the guest green car, and uh, we've been so fast all weekend, and this is just the cherry on top. Hopefully, uh, we're going to have our work cut out for us tomorrow. Hopefully, we can do the same thing. Watch the Red Group Grand Prix in Road America, Sunday, June 23rd at noon on NBC.
Hey, motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.